Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Today we're taking a peek at a 2022-1985 by Lance. Its overall length is 23 feet 8 inches. Its fresh tank capacity is 45. The gray and black are both 40. Its gross dry weight is 4,965 pounds. In the back, you have a very nice restroom and shower and closet. In the middle, you have the dinette and the kitchen. Up front, you got a queen size Murphy bed and plenty of storage. I really like the Lance line, especially lately. They've been on top of the game in 2022 and 2023. First thing you notice as you get closer is a gigantic acrylic double insulated window. This is last year's model of the uh, power tongue jack. It doesn't have the rubberized buttons from what I can tell. Up front you have an area for propane tanks. Down there are the uh, powered stabilizer jacks. Again a nice view of that uh, beautiful double insulated acrylic window. On the slide out on both sides, uh, you have glass. Those are the only areas that you get glass on this travel trailer. On each side, you do get an area for a battery and it slides out. Super convenient, great for some uh, lithium batteries, AGM batteries or wet cell batteries. It's up to you what type of batteries you want. That's a magnetic uh, hold back as I call it. Hold back, is that a technical term? And this is where you would put a generator if you wanted to put a generator there because it is ventilated. You can put whatever you want there. Let me slam those latches. They have a little bit of storage right there, an unusual little storage bin right there. This unit has a slide out cover and takes advantage of Schwintech slide out mechanisms. This is a very nice and quite large uh, storage area. It has, uh, of course, a magnetic hold back. There's a 30 amp cable. From left to right, I figure it's about six feet. Uh, from front to back uh, to the you know, depth of it is, I figure, about two and a half feet. Height, uh, about two feet. I should get out my ruler one of these days and actually measure these things instead of just guessing. Let me lock this up. This runs on Goodyear 15 inch tires, endurance tires, highway tires. Uh, this unit is designed for the highway, not off road, a little bit of off grid, but primarily uh, going down the highway. It has the best uh, uh, RV tires, I think, uh, available currently. The Goodyear endurance. As we pan to the right, you see the knife valves, the gray, the black, they're hidden inside. They're protected against the elements. That's why this is a four season RV. And there's the dump valves. And to the right, of course, uh, the power uh, stabilizer jacks. This one was not available to be opened. I tried my best. I should have brought my crowbar. And right there is the satellite and park antenna connections and a place for your 30 amp cable so you can power this wonderful travel trailer. To the left is the uh, tank flush and to the right is uh, gravity fill if I remember correctly and right there right there is the outdoor shower I love outdoor showers uh, if you take outdoor showers it does not fill a, the gray tank so you can use as much water as you want and not have to go dump on a regular basis. Don't forget to check out my photographs at rvtamyportfolio.com. Again, that's rvta.myportfolio.com. Thank you very much. Since this is a premium uh, travel trailer, they take advantage of the latest technology with a Truma Combi system. In the back, you got a hitch that you can put a bike rack or storage box, whatever you want. Uh, at least 300 pounds worth, not more than that. 
Lance is famous for their super strong ladders. These are absolutely glorious ladders. I wish I had one of these ladders on my uh, Rockwood. These are A+. In the back, you got a four inch uh, square, you know, bumper where you can put your stinky sneaker. I think I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna go try going up there right now. I'm still uh, a little bit nimble, even at uh, 71 years of age, uh, pretty soon, in a couple months. Here's a view of the roof, uh, all the various uh, areas, vents, air conditioners, TV antennas. And up front they have an area there where you can put some luggage. Uh, basically uh, it slides backwards and forwards and you can put whatever you want up there. Very, very convenient. Of course you can see in the distance the sign that says Western Campers and Camp Bowie Boulevard. Let me get back down. It's uh, very important for an old fort like me when I go up and down the, a ladder that I feel comfortable. And uh, the Lance ladder elicits a super, super fantastic amount of uh, confidence. This is a little rusty area. I do not like it. I don't know why they didn't uh, use stainless steel uh, componentry for the JBL outdoor speakers. I just, I just don't understand it. They're always rusted. There's the back of the um, propane AC refrigerator. They haven't uh, evolved yet at Lance to use uh, 12 volt DC fridges. And just below the fridge is the uh, back of the water here. Right there. I really like these Lance travel trailers. They're four season uh, ready. And uh, there's your alternating current to the right. I do, couldn't open that uh, one on the left, I tried. Uh, but I didn't have the key, but there is the you know, alternating current, and I couldn't access this one either. And uh, what can you say? Let's open up the pass-through storage. Just in the past, they used to have these uh, plastic long tubs, sort of look like uh, little canoes that they used to toss in there. Now they have these uh, super high-quality all-metal uh, Moride trays. This is the other battery box. Again, you have two slide out battery box, one on each side. They're vented, uh, you know, old school. Uh, you don't need those vents if you have lithium. And here's that tray. Like, it goes a long way. It goes at least uh, seven feet, I think. Very nice. Very high quality. You can put all your stuff there and pull it out whenever you want to check it out and say, hey, uh, let me get that out and put it out on our campsite. What do you think? Nice all metal uh, mechanism there. Let me and a slam latch. Let me slam it. <laughs> Typically, when I do uh, walkthrough videos, uh, you hear my narration either it's live or in the studio. And you can hear some effects like slamming latches and some of the wind sounds and the music in the background or whatever. But this time around, my mic didn't work half of the time. So towards the end of this video, you'll hear some sounds and noises. Here's the uh, passenger side view and some of the latest graphics. They always change the graphics every couple of years or so. Again, this is the 1985 Four Season Ready. has great insulation. Uh, the tanks are doubly insulated. You can't complain about that. And in the doors here, they have little pockets. Down, open, up, close. Down, open, up, close. Yeah, I figured that out. Eventually, it took me a while, but I figured it out. Let me close the door. You won't be able to hear the sound, but I close <laughs> the door. <laughs> and I get a very nice door. Uh, they have a little table that comes out. I like this, the fact that it comes up from the bottom, not from the top, so you can, you know, you can take a peek outside and, and people that want to check you out can't. And you can have a little peephole in the top. It's up to you. Over here are some of the controls for the slide out, for the lights, etc, etc. And they have them all labeled. That's one of the big things about Lance products. They actually take the time to label, you know, the different switches. So you don't have to guess, uh, you know, you actually know what's going on. I'm sitting on the sofa. To the left is the dining area. And to the right is that 54 by 78 inch dinette that converts to a gigantic bed 
I think it's a significant size for at least a, an adult, maybe two that are friendly and can get along. And to the back is the TV, refrigerator, and then finally, way, 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 way back there is the uh, restroom and shower area. I wonder why they picked a white sink. Maybe they ran out of the darker ones because uh, if you drop some fruit juices in there and stuff like that and stuff that can stain, some serious staining, you know, I have that can stain, you know, it's, uh, it's not good to have white. It's better to have a darker, they have a darker version of the American Stonecast. They do have it in the uh, restroom. Nice, solid surface countertops and a, you know, pull-out sprayer. Very nice. Again, an upscale product deserves upscale amenities. There's a window back there. And under the sink, you have plenty of storage. A great place to put your chemicals and uh, such. Here and there, there's a water, water pump down there, very conveniently located and very well situated and well organized. Again, the folks at Lance are doing a fabulous job in 2022 and 2023. And they have these pull out plastic trays that look like darkroom trays. And uh, you can take them out, you can take them outside, you can put silverware in them, you can put food in them, you can put whatever you want in there. There's that three burner uh, stovetop and oven combo by Suburban. Cast iron grates, very nice. And of course, uh, I wish they would have sealed burners in these uh, RV <laughs> uh, units. Uh, crap can go down there. And I've uh, had coffee grains go down there and I've had to take it apart and clean it all up. It's a lot of work. If you had sealed burners, you just wipe it and call it good. But nah, they uh, are super, super, super old school. Sometimes the RV industry is like about 50 years behind the rest of uh, this, you know, society. Nice size oven. I have pretty much the same oven in my Rockwood Mini Light. A little cover right here, and it extends your uh, prep area from left or right to left, left to right. You decide. And I like the backsplash. Quite nice. To the right, you have some controls those soffit lights, various lights, kitchen lights, and uh, and the Truma Combi you know, controls are right there to the left. And above it, you can check your levels for your battery, your tanks, and also turn on the water pump. Very conveniently located right there. Up there, you can put some spices. It's your choice what you want to put up there. Uh, you can put a little, you can take that, uh, that hardware off and put a little door there if you want. You can do all kinds of stuff. Some of you, of you uh, subscribers, and I hope you're subscribed, uh, you know, do, uh, you know, quite a bit of handy work and can, you know, transform these units and make them very personable uh, and very nice. Personalize. Two uh, levels of uh, storage is better than one. I appreciate it. And uh, again, High quality Lance travel trailer hardware. A step above. And what do you think of those doors? Do you like those doors? Those two tone European style doors. Do you like them? Over there is where the TV would be. They have it sequestered somewhere. <laughs> I wonder where they have it hidden. And of course, that arm comes out right there. I locked in place and then you have the uh, king uh, uh, controls for your uh, antenna and plenty of receptacles over there 12 volts uh, USB alternating current antenna connections uh, HDMI the list is almost infinite and of course you have the JBL audio system I'd prefer and I'm, and I'm saying right here I'd prefer a sound bar that I can take off if I want to upgrade the sound if I must I like high quality sound. I can buy a better sound bar and just plug it in there via HDMI. But no, they, they stick you with this unit. Again, uh, this is to all you RV manufacturers for anything above 35, 40, 50,000 uh, bucks. Put a sound bar in there. There's your antenna connections and uh, alternating current and USB. Very nice. 
perfect spot for a Blu-ray or a UHD uh, player. Very nice, or whatever you want. There's some controls. Couldn't read in my glasses. Got, you know, aren't as good as they should be. I couldn't read the fine print. I apologize. You have a 12 volt and USB connections on the far back left. And a subwoofer. Wow, that's pretty nice. I appreciate subwoofers. Behind that door you have uh, three levels of uh, storage. Very nice. You put some DVDs there, your Blu-rays or CDs, whatever you want. You can put some music back there. There's a sofa and uh, there's the dinette. And that's a gigantic dinette. I am not uh, making that up. You could sleep two adults, I think. I have some short friends that are around five foot, five foot two. They would sleep there uh, like it's a like it's a king size bed to them. I think it's about, if I remember correctly, it's 78 inches, isn't it? 78 inches long. That's six and a half feet. You have under uh, the chairs. You have some nice storage, nice and deep. Good size storage. Nicely sanded. I actually felt it and I go, wow, this is a nicely sanded. Some places just give it a cursory sanding. This, the folks at Lance say, hey, uh, we're going to charge them a little, couple extra pennies uh, for something that's uh, you know, nicely sanded. The tabletop is a sealed membrane. I like the pattern. And you also have some more storage on this side and some covers. I'll show you there the cover that uh, cover the vents. So this is a four season travel trailer and they take it very, very seriously. And so they give you little covers so you uh, don't get any, any funny little drafts. Again, this is six and a half feet long. That's a long, long unit. And that's the price, 66,000 plus a couple of dollars there and here and there. And I give you a bit of a discount. Of course, you can always contact the folks at uh, Western campers and ask them for uh, an extra five dollars off. I'm pretty sure they'll give it to you. Uh, they're pretty nice folks down there. Let's pan up to the lamp sconce and take a peek at the lamp. I like this one. It's a double lamp and has a beautiful modern design and uh, I like these windows uh, treatments also. Uh, the valances. And from the top come the, the day shades and from the bottom uh, they come up is the privacy shade. So you have option of letting some wind in and some light in or just uh, like that and open up the window you get some you know some breeze if it's a nice cool day or you can just uh, close it to the top and have some supreme privacy and I'm gonna be very straightforward with you I've seen quite a few of these units that uh, from different manufacturers and they have the better quality acrylic windows the better quality day night shades also and there's the controls for the light so you can dim them if you wish there's a clock controls for the air conditioner some uh, alternating current and some very nice bins there I think this is new I've never noticed this uh, accent piece before that blue and I do like the blue and the beige of the uh, dinette and the blue of the sofa it's a nice contrast and that's a good size windows they have a lot of good size windows in this unit they open up uh, with this little ratchet you can have uh, these windows open just an eighth of an inch if, you know quarter inch if you want only and let some breeze in but you're not supposed to let you know do that while you're going down the road you're supposed to lock them up a specific way all the way not a, you know, a little bit of the way and I moved up that uh, nightshade Again, high quality, not cheap. There's different manufacturers out there that make the same sort of product, but they make them a lot cheaper. They sort of bulge in certain places and they look absolutely horrible. So you have to have some experience. If you're going shopping for some RVs, I would recommend going looking at different types of RVs and playing with the shades, the sofas, the beds and looking around at the quality of the countertops and the receptacles, how many receptacles you get. Like on this unit, you get a lot of receptacles, alternating current, 12 volt, etc., etc. You get these long storage areas and you get higher quality materials all the way around. You get a drawer on each side and you get this long and pretty decent size uh, little tabletops and tables. And there's some more controls over there. You can check your solar right there your batteries 
condition right there. If you have an area to put your keys, again, I love this sofa. I absolutely love this sofa, and it's uh, situated in a beautiful spot. And I'll show you in a bit. I'll make uh, the Murphy bed so you can check it out. And look at that window. I think it's a little bit too big. I would like it to be cut off right about there, about a foot from the bottom, uh, you know, a little bit shorter. So when I'm sitting down, laying down, my head's not hitting again. The folks at uh, Lance, don't listen to me. Uh, you know, you can not hit that window. And uh, even the best insulated window uh, will transmit a little bit of cold, a little bit of heat. And here's your shirt closets, one on each side. They're pretty deep. They go back about a good three feet. Again, one on each side. Very nice. I really like them. What do you think? Again, very, very deep. You get also a little lamp, a reading lamp, one on each side. Let me turn around the camera so you can take a peek at the floors. What do you think of the floors? I do like the floors. Again, this is a super well-executed travel trailer. They have little bungees to hold back the sliding doors. And right under the sink, they have some uh, serious storage for your chemicals, for the toilet, etc., etc. This uh, sink uh, takes advantage of the darker American stone cast. I think the kitchen would have benefited from that. It has a sealed membrane uh, countertop. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Very high quality. Nothing plastic here. You have one, two, three drawers. They slide out very nicely. I like the handles. Again, you have a sanded plywood box construction, metal glides, and uh, laminate doors, and soft clothes. Get a good size closet here. Again, you have plenty of storage in the 1985. That's my opinion. Close that. So let me turn around the camera and go inside the shower and give that a test run. I'm 5 feet 10, 173 pounds typically, and there's some of the controls for the lights. And they're labeled, of course. And this has uh, the Aquaview shower miser system. It uh, conserves hot water, so you're wasting it, especially when you're boondocking. This is plastic, it surprised me. This actually looks like metal, but this is actually just plastic. Uh, definitely uh, keeps things lightweight, but I would have preferred an actual uh, metal uh, fixture. This is also a plastic uh, door, uh, but uh, it's nicely constructed. Let me put that back for the next person to look at. Say, hey, we got the Aquaview shower miser system. A water saving system. Very nice. There, I put it right there. No, I'm not on the payroll of the folks at Western Campers. This is a little flimsy here. <laughs> I thought I could hold on to it as I get in, but no way, Jose. No way, Jose. Let me turn around the camera. Again, I'm talking here and the mic's not working. I wish the mic was working, but it wasn't. So I got about three inches of headroom here and uh, I'm not even in the shell again I'm five foot ten inches yes and 173 pounds approximately on a good day again uh, I said my four fingers there maybe it's four inches uh, maybe three and a half somewhere around there again uh, when you buy an RV I would recommend going in the shower seeing if the floor is mushy some of these floors on some of these RVs are look like they're ready to fall apart but this one was pretty solid very 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 solid as I was driving down the road, uh, I saw a homeless person uh, asking for cash, and he had the same shoes I had. <laughs> I go, he has good taste. So it's about a foot to get out, so I like to put my hand on the sink as I come out, especially if the floor is a little wet. You do not want to slip and uh, slam your head. There's a light fixture and one, two sections of storage for odds and ends like toothpaste. And you can, of course, replace that with a Max Air or a fantastic fan, whatever kind of fan you want. But that's a pretty much a cheap-ass fan right there. You have lights, vents, 
and uh, there I show them to you. There's the lights and the vents and that sliding farmhouse style door. It connects right there. Let's get out of here and let's go check out the refrigerador, the refrigerator. And this is a Norcold, a very high quality refrigerator. I know Norcold also makes DC fridges. I would recommend next time around get a Norcold DC fridge. This is an American made and produced refrigerator, a rarity. My travel trailer and most travel trailers that use, especially the DC fridges, they're all made pretty much, I think about 95% of them are made in China. And of course, all the RV manufacturers, hey, if we can save a penny uh, by having it made in China, we're gonna do it. I'm sorry, we need to, you know, put our shareholders' interests ahead of the American worker. And there's a Norcold refrigerator, very nice. I'm now gonna turn this uh, blue sofa into a bed and my microphone decided, hey, it's time to get off our hiatus and get back to work. This is how the bed looks uh, when it's uh, laid out. And of course, uh, the mattress just uh, closes rather readily. So with one hand, I tossed the mattress back. And of course, this is a jackknife sofa. Just grab it from here. And there you are. You have your sofa back in its normal seating position. And these go right here on the side. And as you sit here, you get the perfect, absolutely flawless, perfect TV watching position. What do you think? This is how the sofa looks uh, made up. It's back to normal. It's, again, it's a jackknife sofa. This mattress just plops over. I would put some sort of cover over this to make it look somewhat aesthetic. Uh, you have options. What do you think? Thanks for watching. RV and travel adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Today I checked out a 2022 Lance 1985 Murphy bed travel trailer. A very nice, easy to tow by most uh, trucks and large SUVs. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them below. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you want to talk to the uh, folks at uh, Western Campers, uh, their contact information is right here. You can pause the video at any time. Right. Hope you're doing fantastic. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and ring the bell for future notifications. Where am I? I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.